Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Let's go through the basic steps on how to migrate, how to relocate a LUN from one storage pool to a different storage pool on a Dell EMC Unity. All right, so we're gonna assume that you've already configured the storage device on the network, that it's available on the network, that it's got an IP address, it's available uh, via a host name. So we're gonna open up a web browser and connect into the backend storage device itself via the IP address. So here we are under the section storage pools. You'll see that there are two pools here, pool underscore 01 and pool underscore 07. And what we want to do is we want to migrate a LUN from one pool to the other. So all of my LUNs are located under storage block. So block being all of my LUNs. And you'll see that there are three, one, two, and test. Uh, you'll see here under the pool section, they're all associated as part of pool 01. Now pool 01 is getting a bit full. So I've gone and created a pool 07 and I want to add some LUNs into there. So we're going to move data store test to the other pool, select that, go to the more options area and select move. Okay, under here, what is the priority? So if the SAN is too busy, uh, do you want it to wait? Do you want it to happen right now? Or can it wait a lot longer? Um, so we're just going to leave it as normal. We're going to let it do its thing. And we're going to move it from pool 01 to pool 07. The good thing about this is while you are migrating, you can also convert it from a thin to a thick provision just by unticking this. But we're gonna leave that as default and say, okay. So that has now moved over to pool 07. So this may take a bit of time to move between pools. Obviously the larger the LUN, uh, the more time it will take. And because there, this is actual data, uh, it has to move between disks, which are in different pools. Uh, so it can take a bit of time if it is significantly larger LUN. But that is the simple process on how to migrate a LUN from one pool to the other. So there you have it, that is my overview. I hope you found this helpful. There's definitely a lot of stuff that uh, you can go into on the storage device. If you want to know more, let me know. We've also got a whole bunch of other videos that talk about SAN and NASAs um, of various types and the different technologies associated with those, as well as a whole bunch of other technology videos across my Digital Bike Computing YouTube channel. Either way, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me as well to keep updated on my new videos as they get released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.